Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Sasha. In today's video, we're going to be trying out a new brand in this channel. A brand that I've been wanting to try for a while. So this one, um, I have like certain brands and not that many brands left, but just certain brands I really, really, really want to try this year and this is one of them. So this is the M Cosmetics. So I put everything in this bag that I got with the lip product purchase. I think you need to buy at least two of the, the lip duels i think they're called something like that lip duels you need to buy at least two to be able to get this bag so i think this bag is so freaking cute i got a good amount of products i couldn't buy it like anymore just what i can you know and actually guys i have to mention i've been attending shop pop live with michelle fawn because the the brand owner is michelle fawn and she's been doing shop pop live it's an app i never never know anything about it before until she announced it i'm like okay something like i wanted to join in and then i love her like as a person she's like very i don't know her voice is just so soothing and then i've known her well i known about her uh since high school so that's like a long time so that was like mm, i think around 2007 and she was doing youtube and now she's like oh my gosh she does so much guys she does so much and i just always admire her brand m cosmetics because the aesthetic is so freaking beautiful so elegant so ah so aesthetic i haven't tried any of the products on my face except for the lip product i only tried one and i did like a tiktok slash instagram thing i haven't posted it because i just recorded it before i I ruined the beauty of the products. Oh my god, it's so pretty, guys. So because I like doing aesthetic things or whatever, beauty swatches, all that beauty stuff. So be sure to follow me over my Instagram account, Sashi.beauty, and my TikTok is Sashi Beauty. So oh my gosh, we are slowly, we are slowly growing in both of the accounts. So I would really appreciate it if you guys could follow me over there as well. I mentioned about Shop Hop Live and I completely lost track of what I was saying. So basically I won't like I think I won't hmm did i want two things i think i got something else hold on ah my memory is so off you guys so ah, it's over here i have it displayed here so i mentioned about so i mentioned about shop hop live because i don't know what it is but basically sellers go there to sell their stuff and well she owns a lot of products in her business and then there was like one time she did a live where she was selling other brand products so i was like whoa Ooh, it was a lot of work so they were trying to catch up in shipping so i want two things from a giveaways the first item i wanted completely free like i didn't have to pay for shipping just for the first time so this was the first item i already tried it out so this is the only thing i tried and then the lip product and yes this i love it so much so this the the dew drops i believe the blush dew drops these are discontinued now so there's only like two shades available on the website last time i checked so this is the shade little lilac and you know this you guys i'm not going to use it today because i'm going to use a different blush i'm going to use a another limit like a limited edition thing but this oh my god i got so much but look at the shade little lilac it's like a purple blush i need to show you guys the formula it's very easy to work with i use my fingers to put it on so i had this on in my fantasy cosmetica review i put this on and i put my lunar beauty nude prism like the purplish pink blushes on top so this is very beautiful and it's very easy to blend and i just use my finger so i haven't tried with the brush or sponge actually i did use a sponge a little bit but mostly my fingers so it's a really purple blush and not a lot of people can pull off purple because it just depends on your undertone or skin tone a lot of factors so Ah, so I was glad that I'm able to pull off purple blush. So you guys, I know I'm talking a lot. I just needed to show you guys because I'm really happy to have this because I actually have two other serum blushes that I got from BoxyCharm like a few months ago and I just haven't, I haven't had a chance to use them but I used this one because I was so excited by the color so now I want to try out the other colors. I, I completely forgot what colors I had but I had to go check later on. I got three Everglass Lip Duels in the shade Enchant secret and temptress so i'm not sure if i want to do a full review i'll try to do swatches like behind the camera <laughs> and then i got these two the second thing i won from the giveaway was this one right here from the shop pop life so this is the cosmic pearl dewy eyeshadow in the shade scorpius so I, the second time i needed to pay shipping which was just six dollars and then i bought some other stuff um through shop pop life as well and this is in the shade luna i purchased this actually that day when she was doing a giveaway on this she made uh, all the other shades like half off so i only paid like i think 12 50 for this so oh my god i have to take advantage of those deals but right now oh my gosh 
uh, yesterday shop pop live right now Saturday it was so good like she had some good sales she had like after I purchased some stuff already she had some stuff discounted like the blush I bought and the cream bronzer oh I'm like oh my gosh I should have waited but I'm just so impatient and then I got the um, the cream bronzer like I mentioned just now and the blush I got the Heaven's Glow Radiant Veal Blush in the shade Syrup. So this is limited edition, guys. So it's very pretty. Can't wait to try it out on my face. And the swatch, it was very light when I was swatching it earlier. But yeah, guys. So enough talking. Let's do a face because it is like it's about 6:30. So don't want to lose the sunlight right now. I always now. love prepping my lids, no matter what, guys. Like I just feel like it helps. It kind of helps not stain my eyes as much just in case i just like having that base so you can also use concealer but i'm just so addicted to this <laughs> thrive cosmetic waterproof eye primer i'm just addicted to it i'm almost out and i use this like all the time guys all the time or my ace beauty um eye primer i think that one's discontinued actually because i looked it up the other day and i'm like what i couldn't find it on their website anymore i'm like okay so this is pretty right i'm not like I don't often use reds, but it, it is gorgeous. But this one took my breath away. The shade Luna. So she mentioned that you can use it as a highlighter. So that's what I'm going to use today as well. This shade is gorgeous. It's like a cool tone silver champagne shade. So I'm mostly going to use the red shade. But I'm going to add some... Mm, well, yeah, I want to use both of the shades. So hopefully it turns out well. So I'm going to get this brush from this... Uh, Luxie Beauty it's a tapered blending brush and yeah I think she said it, it's better to get it with your fingers instead so I might have to do that hmm yeah I might have to do that so this is very like oh when I was swatching these they felt very metallic-y so I think they're very metallic-y like like you don't get so much product with your finger you don't pick up that much product so it's very metallic-y and yeah, I need a mirror. Yeah, there's like a slight shimmer to it, like being it, like just blending it. So I might have to pick some product out. So let me use my finger a little bit just to add a little more and I'll probably just blend it out. So yeah, I'm gonna put the Luna in the inner part. So there's gonna be an easy eye look. So when you spread it out, it kind of turns like a little orangey and I'm just gonna blend it. Hmm, so I hope it doesn't look like I have like a black eye. <laughs> like when um, Michelle Fonchi uses that day when she was giving this away. Ooh, she looks super gorgeous. So it does look purplish, it blending out. So, yeah, I'm definitely gonna add more. I'm gonna get a flat brush. This is from Larry's Beauty. It's the shadow brush. It's like a flat shadow brush. And I'm gonna pick some more product out. So, yeah, it's kind of leaving a texture now so it's making it more scratchy looking my the pan and i'm just gonna add more of the shader here hmm, you know what maybe I'm, i might as well use my finger honestly because it's just like it's not picking up product even with the finger it doesn't pick up with that much product so it's like i really have to build it up i'm just getting my Def cosmetics my header awesome palette and i'm gonna use the shade atlas so I was hoping I wouldn't use like a matte. I was trying to think, oh, maybe I could do a one look, you know, just with the one brand, you know. So let me see. This will bite. This will make it more not as dark. So I'm just going to pat it in. And it's going to be almost like pumpkin bites. Almost. Or autumn. <laughs> I'm not sure. That orange reminds me of pumpkins. That's why. So then we're just going to buff it out a little bit. Soften it up. It's just to warm it up because it was looking too cool tone towards the end. So I'm going to get more of that. And I'm just going to use actually as a transition on the other side. The Alice shade. I so, Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's actually a really good transition to go with the Cosmic. I mean the Scorpio shade. <laughs> yes, that's perfect. So I'll just add it right here to the Alice shade. And we're going to go back with the... Scorpio shade. I'm gonna use a finger and I'm just gonna spread it right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, like when you spread it out, it looks very dark. So 
I really like it blended out this shade so yeah I think a matte for me is very necessary I'm gonna add a little more right here now we're gonna use the Luna shade <laughs> it's gonna be so blinding so the Luna shade looks very gorgeous I'm gonna just use my finger I think let's see how this looks uh, I'm just gonna get some it's so pretty guys ah such a gorgeous shade like I don't think I have a shade like this or maybe I do it kind of reminds me of the glam the Natasha Denona glam palette yeah it's like these tones this silverish tone and I'm just gonna spread it out and right there kind of fade it out a little bit so I got more of a Scarpie shade and I'm just gonna kind of pat it in and the way I like cleaning my lines I use a wipe and what I normally use I use baby wipes since that's what we buy since we have two babies still wearing diapers <gasps> so they, yeah so I like a clean line and then just pat that in I'm gonna use my Ico Black Magic eyeliner it's like one of my favorite eyeliners it's because it's super thin so you could control it easily and yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it off camera. I'm, I want to do it not off camera. I want to do it dramatically. See, I'm already messing up. <laughs> See, you guys. Uh, normally, I don't do eyeliner, so I don't know how that look. Probably look weird. But let me just clean this up, this line, because I, I know I have a little dot there, but who's gonna see that? I'm just kidding. I really need to step off camera to fix this because I totally messed up. So yeah, I did my best. It doesn't look that bad. I know it's not really a clean line, but yeah, it, it looks good in this angle. <laughs> okay, so now it's time to finish the face. I'm going to use some Rare Beauty products. I'm not sure if I updated you guys already, but um, when I did a review of the Rare Beauty Tinted Foundation, I had my the super good unseen sunscreen underneath so that caused the peeling so it wasn't this it was the sunscreen so <laughs> so besides that like oh, since I figured that out like I just been loving it so much so yeah, I've been careful not to use that sunscreen when I use foundation because it always causes peeling and then and what else mm. and then some other primers that I have some are silicone based I only have a few silicone based this one's not silicone based this is uh, the illuminating primer so I just haven't used it in a while, so I feel like using it. So, yeah, so we're just gonna add some. Oh my gosh, look at that. Um, I will say, oh my gosh, yeah, so the shade range though. <laughs> I'm, I don't like the shade range that much. This one's a little bit orangey, but I could pass as it. Okay, I prefer it to be orangey than grayish, you know, or not too orangey <laughs> at the same time. So, I'm not sure, is that a lot? How much do you guys put? <laughs> so yeah, you could spread it out and then I'm just using my sponge to lightly blend it. I might add a little bit more. Yeah. I'm just gonna put it on my finger, put it right here, and then right here. And then yeah. I really love this. Um I really love this tinted moisturizer because it just looks makes your face look really good and then underneath the lemony primer it's like glowing even more like like not too glowy just the right amount of glow i've been really using this concealer a lot because i'm going to test out a powder probably i want to record it on my my phone uh, it's a new powder but yeah this is the tart ultra creamy concealer i've been using this a lot because it's just so hydrating i have the regular one too i love the regular one but i just I think I love this one just because it's, it is creamier in fact and hydrating it's getting dark guys so I better hurry look at that oh a little bit coverage a little bit extra coverage and then I blend it on my nose and then right here oh I forgot to do something I was gonna show you guys I was gonna color correct my under eyes so I was gonna tell you guys um, I've been color correcting my eyes with this. It's a Tower 28 cream blush in the shade Brush Hour. So I'm not sure how it'll look. I've been doing that a lot. So I haven't done it just concealer alone. And it's a really good formula that cream blush to use it under your under eyes because it's hydrating. Yeah, so 
color correcting would have helped my eyes because I have a slight grayish. My add a little bit on top. So we'll just do that. We'll just add a little bit on top then. Because normally I do it underneath. Tire 20 cream blush. I know it's gonna look scary, but I just want to cover that darkness. That's why I'll probably put more concealer. <laughs> Yeah, because it's gonna be. It, this is like a super pigmented cream blush. But it really helps, like, counteract that darkness. So I'm just gonna add a little more. And I'm just gonna add this. Just gonna blend it. See ya. See, do you guys see the difference? Like, it counteracts that darkness. Uh, I'm gonna do a TikTok on it, so be sure to follow me over there, guys. I'm trying to be really active over there. Like, I mean, I'm not super active, but I'm trying to. And then with my Instagram, I'm trying to slowly post things in an aesthetic order. That's just how I am. Like, I just can't post. Um, like, like I like taking pictures of products, but I like doing my eye looks, my makeup looks. So I'm trying to keep it aesthetic. I'm gonna use my concealer brush. This is from MLT and I, I love this so much. It's like you could use this to to kind of go back and then kind of push it in to the fine lines, you know? And then I use that for this. So this might be a good dupe. I don't have the Rare Beauty concealer brush, so I'm thinking this will be a good dupe. But I mean, it's not, has, I think this is pretty pricey. I got this in the Ipsy. You guys should. Yeah, so make it flawless because you there you go. Okay, hopefully you guys seen that. Oh, and then we need to push it into the nose. Make sure I push that in. Alright, so the product I want to test out for the first time I'm gonna do in front of you guys. I finally got the Huty Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. Shade, sugar cookie, so that's the lightest shade and the reason why is because I got a good deal through Ipsy. That's why I think I paid like $13 or something. Or, you know, comparing to the actual full price. So this is super, super edgy. Just look at that, guys. I finally have it. So it has this little seal. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> that took me by surprise. They say it has a lavender scent. There is a scent to it, yeah. It smells kind of perfumey. There's a mesh thing, so a lot came out, so. I'm just patting it and what I do, I pat in the back of my hand. Oh my gosh, it feels very finely milled. So this is my first time using it. We're gonna do this and hook up at the same time, so. Mm. I'm not really gonna bake. I'm not a bake kind of girl, but yeah, it looks very nice. Look at the comparison. Hmm. So my current favorite is the ABH powder. So this one actually feels more finely milled than that one. And I love the ABH one, like I use it like a lot hmm yeah it feels very nice and i'm gonna just put a little bit on my actually oh, i forgot i'm gonna use cream contour so let me just slightly put it right here too and right here oh yeah that looks so smoothing <gasps> look at that what do you guys think so <laughs> sorry my hair is a little messed up but yeah so far it looks good hopefully the the cream bronzer doesn't get affected I got the shade Terra, by the way. So this is like a cool tone brown, I believe. And yeah, we're just gonna, oh my gosh, it's so creamy. Like when I swatched it, it was super creamy and it's so pigmented. Maybe um, just do circles. Like it's so pigmented and so soft. Ooh, yeah, I put too much right there. So I'm just gonna lightly get the back of the sponge and just kind of lift it a little bit and Super, like it's super pigmented. We're gonna get the product out of the the thing, the component, and it's gonna get dirty. So probably lift some and just get some. So this is super pigmented. So yeah, a little bit goes a long way. I am definitely gonna get my sponge and kind of lift some. So we're gonna do the same thing, but except. I'm gonna use my brush. Yeah, it looks really pretty. So it's just right here, it looks crazy. So let me just use my sponge because it's wet. And 
it's a cool tone brown but when you blend it out it kind of turns warm so it's like a perfect color bronzer for my skin tone at least and we're gonna do the other side real quick just gonna spread it out right here yeah I think I prefer the putting the brush on the component it works way better like that I, I need to uh, take some product out there you go and then right here put some powder there like right here I try not to put it right here so hopefully it doesn't mess up you say use another brush but hmm. I just have to get used to the formula it's just so pigmented so definitely using the brush onto the component is best which I used the wrong thing I used the red beauty lid I got some other. <laughs> oh my gosh guys okay so there you go the right lid now this is the limited edition heaven glow radiant veil blush in the shade syrup so uh, it was either this shade or the other shade the other shade is a limited edition the persimmon but i was thinking like i wanted it but i was thinking like i feel like i wouldn't use it often it would have went well with this look so we're gonna use this pink blush i'm gonna use this blush brush from real techniques mm, this supposed to be like a blurring kind of like a blurring blush almost and definitely gives that effect mm. okay and I'm just gonna yeah this is very easy so this blush when I noticed when I swatched it it's not like super pigmented like you really have to pick up a lot like it's not sheer but like I guess with the finger I guess with the brush too it doesn't pick up as much pigment so you just have to build it up it makes it easier to build up because sometimes with a pigmented blush it's sometimes it can be hard to work with but with the blush like this, it's not so sheer that you really have to dig it. But it's not its not that sheer. It's just that you just have to build it up to have that effect. Mm. Yeah, I love this blush. It's very pretty. I want the other shade. <laughs> but I, want, I really want their other shades from their permitted collection. And I just got a little fur right there. Yeah, that's really pretty. So I hope I probably have to brighten it, my lighting down a little. Mm, yeah that's so pretty we're almost done so I, I still need to finish my bottom eyes but before that let's add the lip I'm going to use the Evio Beauty lip liner shade broke it's kind of red but not too red I hope just love using a lip liner to make my lip look like cleaner So, yeah, I added like a little bit depth right here in the corners of the mouth, just a little bit. So I'm not gonna fully fill in my lips because uh, when you do that, I mean, it'll make the lip probably last longer on top, but it'll change the color of the lip duel. So I'm gonna use the shade Temptress. This is the shade I got sold out when it, I think when it first got released, or it got sold out fast. This is the first, first and only shade I got sold out. Oh yes, mm, that's so pretty. I'm gonna build it up. Mmm, yeah, it's so hydrating. Like, um, when I first put it on, like, because out of temptation, this is temptress, right? <laughs> out of temptation, um, it felt like it kind of felt sticky when I first put it on, but then, um, when I put on the second layer, like, my lips pretty much adjusted to the formula like it doesn't feel sticky like now it feels like a like a thick no, it's not a thick lip oil it's supposed to be like a hybrid between a lip oil and a lip balm i believe that's how they described it and to me it feels like a lip oil yeah a little bit thicker since i did two layers but it feels very comfortable sticky um well i mean i feel like my hair would get stuck to it but it's not like it doesn't feel annoying to me also another thing i got a free gift from m cosmetics for purchasing i i don't think they have it available anymore but now they have free shipping i think the fresh shipping is going to end tonight by the time the video it's going to be too late but yeah i got this for free through m cosmetics so oh so cute oh my god this is such a gorgeous red and i feel very confident very comfortable wearing this red like i feel like i'm a baddie 
<laughs> oh, I forgot to use the highlighter. So let's do the highlighter. And then we'll do the bottom eye look. I know I'm going a little backwards, but I'm gonna use the shade Luna. This is a cosmic eyeshadow, but you can use it as a highlighter. So I'm just gonna dab it, like pat it. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I will get a smaller brush. All right, it's fine. It's very finely milled. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's because this brush, it's um, it's a little fluffy. It's a tapered blending brush. I'm gonna add it on the nose. Let me add a little bit on the under the brow bone. Yeah, that's so pretty. Ooh, yeah. So fall bites. And now we just gotta do the bottom eye look. I'm gonna go back to my Adept Cosmetic Header Hostin palette. And I'm gonna use the shade Atlas. And you know, I think that's it. I could add a hint of this, but let me see how this looks on its own. I'm so tempted by the shimmers of this palette. <laughs> oh yes, this palette. This shade is good, yes. And let's add a little hint of the PA02. It's like a plummy purple. I'm just gonna get a little bit and just add in the corners. So let me just spread it that purple then upwards. So yeah, I'm gonna spread it upwards right here. Probably add more of, a, of the Luna shade because I'm trying to incorporate the M Cosmetics in this video. And I'm just gonna use it on my inner corners, so just like that. You know, I'm very tempted to use my Heather Austin palette. I'm very tempted, but I'm trying to make the and cosmetics the star of the show. You know, look at that. Our Sally Beauty. It's a gel liner in shade Sangria for like blood. And I'm just gonna align my. Oh my gosh! I just turned my contact. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna set my face. Uh, before I do the mascara, so Pixie Beauty. That's so the mascara I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use the Thrive Cosmetics Lash Extension Mascara. Curl, 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 curl. I'm just gonna curl my lashes. All right, guys. So this is the final look. Look at this. Yeah, it's very late. So oh, it's already 7:30. So it took an hour. So that was actually bad, but. I'm, I was trying to make it less than an hour because the sun is the sun is rising. I mean, the sun is setting. It's, it's totally fall by. It's very glam. I always do glam looks. Oh my gosh! But this lip product is so gorgeous. I'm very comfortable. It's a very very comfortable shade for me to wear. So now we're gonna do my overall opinions of what I think about these products. I know I didn't try on the other lip duo. I just don't want to make this video too long, but I'm I did some swatches and everything over my TikTok, so be sure to follow there and also my Instagram. I'm gonna post that in my Instagram as well. I just have to wait because the order of my things keep it aesthetic for me. All right, guys. So let me do my overall opinions. Okay. So first up, let's start off with the the Cosmic Pro Dewy Eyeshadows. So I think these are pretty. The formula, I just don't like that. I can't pick it up like even with the finger like. It doesn't pick up that much from your finger to to blend it out this blend it out kind of i don't know i'm not sure why blended michelle Fon, she blended it very beautifully when she did this all over her eyes practically she did it so gorgeously so for some reason for me it didn't look that good blended out that's why i needed a little help with my at that cosmetics palette but this shade this one is so stunning so i'm it's not like i'm upset of having this shade it's pretty. It, it's just that not often I'm going to use it, but I'll try to make use of this. But this one, I'm going to be putting good use to this because it's very, it's such a unique shade. It's, it's like the type of shimmer or type of shadow that I really like. Like, it's not super blinding, but it adds like mm, some glam to it. And it's very pretty as a highlight too. Like, it's not too much. It's very finely milled, so it looks very gorgeous on the, as a highlight. So... Oh. So yeah, so I recommend this one. The other shade I really want to pick up, maybe someday, I want to pick up Venus. That shade looks very perfect. Like, I will use that shade, so I really want the other one. So eventually, guys. Okay, so the lip products, I still need to see how the other colors look on me, but I love Temptress. That's the shade I have on. 
I love it. The formula is very nice. So the I know the lip liner is showing up more. So I think I noticed it kind of absorbs into your lips. Like it doesn't last long. So I don't think it's long. long I don't think it's long lasting. From me talking, like like the lip liner is showing more. I don't think it was showing that much before, right? Yeah. The oils the oiliness i think it's absorbed into my lips so it's not long lasting so that's like real quick first impressions guys but i do love the formula so i'm very happy with these and the shades the other shades i have is the secret and enchant and right here's temptress so you can see the the difference temptress is more reddish so i can't wait to use the other shades like i'm very happy like the packaging it's very oh, i love the packaging okay let me review this cream bronzer i do like it it's just super pigmented so i think what i prefer to use it with is the brush like getting it from the component instead of it swiping it on because it came out like super dark normally i do that with my other cream bronzers i put it on my face and then i blend it the makeup my mario it's easy to blend this one is uh, it's just so pigmented compared to the makeup by mario that one's way easier to blend like if you're just putting it straight on your face this one is just so pigmented that you have to like just work it with your sponge but you could it doesn't look streaky or anything i love how it looks blended out like it looks blurring in a way my little one he just woke up from his nap i know he took a late nap i was waiting for him to take a nap so i could record his video and i didn't want to wait for another day because i was preparing for this video i put my contacts on i'm like i have to record today i really want to record this okay now for the radiance bl blush Mm, yeah the formula is great on this one it's very easy to work with and it looks very soft like it's heaven's glow so it's like a subtle blush and it, it is like a shimmer blush so that's why it has like a slight glow to it it's really pretty it's like it's not too much it's not too dramatic i kind of want the other shade now the other limited edition the persimmon <laughs> Uh, i'm not sure if i should i have to wait though but yeah i like it this was the first thing i mentioned i didn't try it on my video but i love the formula to these too bad that they are discontinuing them but i love this shade little lilac so hopefully they make more purple blushes they need to like they need to <laughs> but yeah guys so that's basically it i think i don't think i forgot anything but yeah this was so much fun to do i was like really looking forward to do this video and i love the eye look you know i say it all the time sometimes sometimes i have bad days too in my eyelids but this turned out pretty good i like how i made it's kind of smoky here with the depth cosmetic palette so yeah it came out different than i thought i was gonna do it but yeah that's fine but yeah guys so let me know what you guys think about these products uh, have you guys tried m cosmetics or what other brands are you guys like wanting to try let me know because i'd love to hear it and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys